Welcome to the first Boss Digital CQ5 screencast. On this series we will be focusing on mobile site creation. We will do this by implementing mobile sites in CQ5 in two different ways. The first way will be a standalone site made from scratch. The second will be based on an existing website where we will be replicating the content in a mobile environment. We will start by First, creating the design template mobile content page component that both mobile sites will use. So, to start, we will log in to CQ5 using our username and password. Once in, we will go into the tools section of the website, click on designs, and then create new design. We're going to call our design our mobile boss design. No need to put any name. CQ5 will change spaces with dashes and uh, capital letters with uh, lowercase letters. Put uh, Click on design page template and then create. We have now created a, our base design. However, we cannot edit it from this uh, section of the site. As you can see, currently not editable. We need to use CRXDE for this. So we're going to use CRXDE, which I had already loaded up. We're going to go into the folder ETC Designs. I'm just going to refresh this folder. It shouldn't take too long to refresh the folder since it doesn't have a lot of content right now. And here we go Mobile Boss Design. Right now, it's empty, it just has the JCR content node. What we need to include, what most designs include, is a static CSS that will be, that will be responsible for rendering all the pages that are used, and whatever images the static CSS uses. In this case, we're not going to be creating a static CSS or anything from scratch. We're going to be using the static CSS that the website where we will be replicating the content from uses already. So we're just going to copy this uh, files and paste them here. Once that is done, we are done with the design of the mobile website. Now we will handle the mobile content page components. Once again, we're going to base ourselves off of the website that will be used in the next step that is handled here at Boss. We're going to go into Boss Components page. And we're going to create a new component. It's going to be called Mobile Page. Title, we're going to put the same thing. Description. Resource super type, you have to pay special attention here. What we need to do is in the, put the resource super type as WCM mobile components page so that uh, this can include certain uh, functionalities for the mobile uh, pages further on. If you don't uh, use this, you can actually try to put them another way but it will not work exactly as it should it's gonna be a bit buggy as for the group we're gonna put boss since it's uh, the group that most of these components for the boss side already have so let's put it boss mobile action we can put next and allow parents allow children but we just want everybody to be able to use it so we're just gonna click finish here so we got the mobile page now we need to edit the JSP. Hmm. Okay. We're going to include actually this code. That was going to be the next page. We're going to be including the mobile head that the CQ5 brings on by defect. So we're going to be putting here the libs wcm mobile components page 
at the JSP. Uh, that brings in the header content for the mobile pages. Then we're going to be including in the body the uh, the nodes that the website already uses according to generic. Both are parses. Then we close the body, and that's uh, the mobile web page, the mobile j page uh, JSP for the content page component. And uh, we're done with the content page component now. Then next, we're going to be including the templates. We're going to go here into templates and create a new template. Uh, template label will be mobile page. Title saying description mobile page template resource type we're gonna put this, uh, the mobile page component direction so we're just gonna put here from it's all based on uh, the folder app so we can can just put it relative don't have to put it. Uh, don't have to put it uh, absolute, just relative from apps. We just put boss components page and then we put mobile page. This will make any pages that are created using this template be rendered using this component. The ranking is used to order the pages, the templates, once. Uh, create a page so we're just gonna put a 90 it's a 1 to 100 uh, ranking and they're gonna be ordered from highest to lowest so this is something that you will have to handle on your own later on just finish and we got the template almost actually we need to include this small property allows paths this will uh, make uh, this will tell CT5 who can access this template from where so we're just going to include allowed paths it has to be an absolute path and we put content all websites are uh, hosted on, uh, are have their contents beneath this folder so we put content and then we put a little bit of a, a regular expression here uh, 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 sorry and then we finish and we are done with the basis for the web uh, for the mobile pages Join us next time where we will be actually populating the standalone website. Thank you.